am Latina. Yo soy Latina. Strong, powerful, educated, with potential and a purpose. But before I am Latina and powerful and educated and all of these things that I just said that make me look good, I'm a human being, not defined by race, ethnicity, capability, nor character. I am a human being, and nothing else should matter. You see, that thing that makes us different than all other living creatures is our intelligence and our judgment. Our intelligence that has allowed us to sail across oceans, soar the skies like birds, and even break apart atoms. An intelligence that could be prosperous or deadly. An intelligence that has also consisted of creating weapons of mass destruction that kill by the thousands and hurt those in need. As humans, we also have the judgment and the reason to categorize things by shape, size, color, cities, states, animals, and even humans. We have the reason to categorize humans by what they look like, where they come from, the color of their skin, and what they believe in, prosperous or deadly. Growing up, I've always lived in big cities. I've lived in Wichita, I've lived in Oakland, California, San Jose, California, and Mexico City, which is where I was born. Pretty big cities. So coming here to a small town where country music blares everywhere I turned was a little bit of a culture shock, something that I wasn't really used to. I like to relate that culture shock to back when I was brought here as a child. Mi mami told me to pack up everything that I knew life was about, everything that meant the most to me, and so I did. So I packed everything that a six-year-old could fit into her Princess Megara backpack and Hercules backpack without realizing that everything I knew life was about was being left behind. I left behind my language, my culture, my traditions, and everything I knew life was about to come to a place that I knew nothing of. All I had was my one-year-old sister and my mother. Now my mother, that woman is the, the most hardworking, dedicated, inspiring, giving, sincere, genuine, resilient woman that I know. I could probably go on and on about this woman, but I would spend all of eternity here. That woman fought for my sister and I, as all three of us were victims of domestic violence. The man that vowed to love and respect and care till death do them part did the exact opposite. So often I hear people tell me to go back to where I came from, and it hurts. Rejection hurts. So, going back to why. I did not want to leave behind my culture, my language, my traditions, or even my abusive father. I loved, I loved my life as it was. I loved my toys, I loved my house, I loved my dog, and I loved him. And I forgave him for every time he got finished punching me in the face. So why am I? Why the change? Mindful versus mindful. I am illegal. Okay, temporarily legal, but mainly illegal, because, you know, an illegal human being is a thing. But have you guys ever had someone admit to your legal status? Now, don't you go on and call la migra or immigration on me, because that would not be good. I am a good person, I promise, or at least that's what I think. But even till this day, I still remember how I ran that border. Even after 18 years, I remember how I ran. I ran that thing like there was no tomorrow. It was a hot summer day in a place that called Arizona. I remember what I was wearing. It was a yellow and green shirt, you know, to camouflage in the desert. I remember that day, and I remember the tiredness in my mother's eyes. I remember how swollen her feet were. I remember the blisters on the soles of my feet. I remember my sister's cries of dehydration. Mi mami told me to run, and I ran. Mi mami me dijo, hide, and I hid. Mi mami said, be silent, and I held my breath. Why? I don't know why. I just did it because she asked me to. Growing up, 
I've never got to relate to the stories that my friends would talk about. They would talk about spending Christmas in their home countries with their families, with their cousins, with their grandparents, with their aunts, with their uncles. The same ones that I have not hugged or seen in over 18 years. As a child, you don't make fun of another child because of where they come from, what they believe in, the color of their skin. As a child, you don't overanalyze situations, you just live with it. But as an adult, you do. Mindful versus mindful. As an adult, you realize and understand why the sacrifices happen and why people decide to make the sacrifices that they do. As an adult, you understand and you overanalyze situations. And as an adult, I now realize that my mother sacrificed her dreams so that my sister and I could have dreams of her own. As an adult, I now realize the mockery behind my mother's broken English. But as a child, you, un you don't understand that. As an immigrant child, you play, you run, you hide, just like any other child. As an immigrant child, you're not worried about whether you're human enough to stay in this country or whether or not you're worthy to stay and strive for a better future. But growing up, you do. Growing up, you realize that you're different, your opportunities are different, you can't board a plane, you can't drive to school. And you have to work 10 times as hard. You start to believe that your worth in this country is only based on this legal status that is only used as political bait. Growing up, you realize that you're different. And it's not about people, it's not for people to feel sorry about. It's about a reality that many people breathe in through every pore in their skin. It's not about taking opportunities from Americans. It's not about getting benefits or welfare or financial aid because you can't. As an immigrant, you can't. And if you think you can, I really do encourage you to do some research, to be informed and to not believe fake news. In 2012, former administration signed an executive order that allowed me and immigrants like me who were brought here as children with the opportunity to obtain a work permit. I was able to buy a car, get a good loan and buy a car, and keep pursuing my degree in education. Unfortunately, this ended quickly after the current administration ended this program and left me again at square one. My concrete plans for the future were once again vague. I felt, I felt uneased, and I started to question my mother's sacrifice. Was her sacrifice worth it? Were the 10-hour shows before night class, were they worth it? Was paying tuition out of pocket? The time I spent studying, the, the time I spent studying, was it all worth it? Leaving everything I knew life was about for one stupid dream that I did not want, was it worth it? Was I worth it? Fortunately, when you surround yourself with the right people, they're there to build you up. They're there, to, they're there because they care for you and not your legal status. Never let a legal status define your worth. Never let a legal status define you as a human being. Because there is no path to citizenship, my people are left in the shadows. My people are left in fear. And these people, all they want is to provide for their families. Families that deserve dignity and a peace of mind. Because there is no way that I could permanently fix my legal status, my mama says, Mija, casate con alguien con papeles. Why don't you marry someone with papers, someone that could help you fix your legal status? And I love my mom, and I know she's joking, but behind that joke, there's a scream of despair because there is no way that I, that I could permanently fix my legal status, she says these jokes. And behind that joke, there's a scream, and there's hopes that I really do take him into consideration. But what about the other guys, the ones without the legal status, the ones with caring, giving, genuine souls? Are they not worthy of my love? Are they not good enough because of their legal status? Never let a legal status define you as a human being. 
A legal status must not define you as a person. A legal status must not define your destiny, your relationships, or how you are perceived. A legal status must not define your fears or your hopes. I am not illegal. I am a person with a story. A person with a story that carries dreams, fears, hopes, and accomplishments. I am a human being, and the legal status does not define my worth. Thank you.